so today um, lesson is generally going to be about the assassination of JFK and the events that surround that and whatnot. So just get started. And um, before we get started, as I um, as you heard as you were walking in and as you were kind of sitting there talking, um, the music that was playing was a song by the duo by the name of Dale and Grace. Um, it was number one on the Billboard charts um, the week of November 22nd, 1963, which was the day that JFK was um, assassinated, one of the biggest tragedies in our recent history. So just to give you a little sort of popular culture type context feel of maybe some music that was playing at that time. And then before we dive into the content of the, situ um, of the situation, as we always like to do, try and discuss some current events going on today. I mean, it could be anything. It could be news, national, local, international, sports, entertainment, um, basically just anything going on. Anybody want to share anything? Current event? There's a new champion in the NBA and NHL. Yeah, yeah. Uh, LA Kings won the Stanley Cup. And the Spurs just won. Spurs won the finals last night in five games. LeBron didn't win. Everybody's going to say it's his fault, but it is. I mean, it's you, you have your own opinion, but I mean, who knows? Chris, Tesla just released all their patents so that anybody can build electric cars using their technology, which is yeah, that's that could awesome. Yeah, that could obviously going to make a lot of, a lot of people mad at all the work that they worked to work on these inventions and whatnot. And, It'll make the investors really mad. I don't know too much about it. It'll make the investors mad, not the, uh, yeah. you know. Anything else going on? Anything local? Like any, I mean, even something going on in your life that you want to share, maybe? Anybody? No? All right. Well, uh, that's good enough. Uh, we can just get going with the content. Um, for today, we're going to look at, um, obviously, uh, JFK assassination. Um, and then also towards the end with our activity, um, we're going to try and see if you can maybe support your argument, um, and I'll, I'll get into that later with some solid evidence. And also uh, another big concept in history is just trying to find the truth and what actually happened um, with certain events in history, and then just examine many different interpretations of what people think that one event actually, how it went down and whatnot. So. That's what we're going to be going over today. Um, start off with a uh, just a brief overview of uh, John F. Kennedy's life um, before he was president, and then a couple big events while he was president. He was uh, born to an Irish Catholic family from uh, Massachusetts. Um, uh, father, big father, I, I believe his name was Joseph. Big family in Boston, and very well-known family, and, and whatnot. Um, he joined the Navy um, as he was a growing teenager. Um, he's known for his uh, heroism in battle. Um, I believe uh, I read about he, uh, the Japanese, they sunk the boat that he was in. And um, when the boat got sunk, I mean, everybody thought that, every, I mean, all the people on board were possibly gonna die, the soldiers that he, were, the, the soldiers that he was with, but he was also injured himself injured in his back, but um, he uh, put a life jacket in his teeth um, and then grabbed another guy by his life jacket to hold himself up, swam to safety and whatnot. So that's just an example of, uh, the, type of the type of man that JFK was, I mean, when, when he was a very young man. Um, he was elected on January 20th, 1961 as the 35th president. Second youngest president in our history. Um, anybody know who the youngest president elected was? It was uh, Teddy Roosevelt. He was 42, just one year younger. So still pretty young, 43. Um, I believe that's younger than my mom and dad at the moment. So possibly somewhere around, maybe a little younger than everybody else's parents or somewhere around that age too. So just imagine if your mom and dad was possibly president. But, um, he, for the first time, well, I wouldn't say for the first time, but he created sort of like a celebrity, almost Hollywood rock star, whatever you want to call it, image to the presidency. Like he was being followed with his family, 
Um, everybody wanted to see him. Everybody loved him. He just had this presence, just this overall, like, I don't know, he just had this aura around him that everybody just seemed to love at the time. And uh, that contributed to the massive tragedy that it was seen when he was ultimately assassinated. And I have a short um, video right here that just gives a good image of, I, I don't think too many people know JFK. They've seen him growing up and possibly, and then leading up to his presidency. So it possibly would give you a good um, image as to what he was back then. So let's get that going here. Thank you. Can you leave pad? Best creation ever. Always infinity. The only pad made with flex foam, not fluff. So thin, yet it absorbs ten times its weight. Infinity. Clean, dry, fresh. Always. President Kennedy was the true political hero. We had never really seen anybody like him in American politics with dash and glamour and toughness. It seemed clear that you didn't have to wait until you were white-haired and bent over to achieve something in life. You could be as young as he was and be elected president of the United States. On May 29, 1917, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the second son of Joseph and Rose Kennedy, was born into a powerful Irish-American family. Jack was an average student, but he excelled in English and history. He attended Harvard, where this interest became apparent in his published senior thesis, Why England Slept, about Great Britain's appeasement of Adolf Hitler. At 24, he enlisted in the Navy and became commander of torpedo boat PT-109. While patrolling the Pacific during World War II, the boat was sunk. An excellent swimmer, JFK used a life jacket clenched between his teeth to tow a wounded shipmate to a deserted island. JFK's older brother Joe died in the war when his plane exploded. So it fell upon JFK to fulfill his father's ambition of a Kennedy becoming the first Irish American in the White House. I was romanced by him, as I think a lot of people in my generation were. Uh, when, we, when we look back on it, and there seemed to be such vigor, such optimism, such anything as possible. In 1946, he was elected a U.S. representative from Massachusetts at the age of 29. In 1952, he was elected senator of Massachusetts. In 1953, JFK's days as Capitol Hill's most eligible bachelor ended when he married Jacqueline Bouvier. It kind of made him sexy. You know, all of a sudden, <laughs> he was married to this socialite woman who was in the, involved in fashion, involved in culture, and they presented themselves as the first family in a way that I think has really changed the stage for the White House. His love of history and English came together in 1956 when his book, Profiles in Courage, won him the Pulitzer Prize. His meteoric rise kicked into high gear in 1960 when he was nominated as the Democratic candidate for president. He ran against Richard Nixon. Republicans focused on his inexperience, but younger voters were energized by Kennedy's youthful optimism. And now for the first opening statement by Senator John F. Kennedy. Smith, Nixon. This is a great country, but I think it could be a greater country. And this is a powerful country, but I think it could be a more powerful country. In November 1960, at age 43, Kennedy beat Nixon in one of the closest elections in history to become the 35th president of the United States. He was also the first Catholic president. Later that year, John F. Kennedy Jr. was born, joining sister Caroline, born in 1957, to complete the picture-perfect first family. Kennedy set the tone of his presidency during his inauguration when he said, Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So that just gives a good image of uh, JFK leading up to when he became president, as I discussed there towards the end. So we'll uh, get back to some more content here. So when he did become the 35th president of the United States, um, there's some he had some accomplishments and then also some crises that he also had to deal with, um, like any president does. Uh, one of the accomplishments he had is he uh, created the Peace Corps. Um, anybody know what the Peace Corps are? Okay. 
kind of? You got just a general idea, do you know, of what they are? Just kind of, anybody want to answer? That they like, do service and stuff and travel the world. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they're um, volunteer, it's like a volunteer organization. Mainly young people getting sent to countries across the world trying to help further education, health, wellness, stuff like that. Maybe building schools, building hospitals, helping out. Stuff like that. Also, um, JFK introduced the uh, Civil Rights Bill um, in July 1963. Um, obviously, he didn't make it to see um, he didn't make it to see that the bill was actually passed. Civil Rights Act in 1964, big, um, big piece of legislation in the nation's history, just um, outlawing the um, discrimination of anybody um, because of their sex, race, color, national origin, ethnicity, stuff like that. So pretty big, uh, pretty big deal that he introduced that bill. Um, some crises while he was in office. Um, he uh, had to deal obviously with the tensions of the Cold War, um, dealing with Russia, uh, Khrushchev, Nikita Khrushchev, um, stuff like that. Um, one of the major events of the Cold War conflicts being the disaster of the Bay of Pigs, um, April 1961, which was a CIA um, managed, uh, led event that Kennedy approved of, um, where we trained Cuban exiles to try and overthrow Fidel Castro and the uh, communist resemblant government in Cuba, which ultimately was a huge disaster. Um, big embarrassment for the United States and a also um, big embarrassment for Kennedy as well. Um, he also dealt with uh, probably the tensest two weeks in the last century um, in the entire world. The Cuban Missile Crisis with Russia also having to deal with the Cold War conflicts. Uh, 13 days in October 1962 where it was a very back and forth um, kind of communicating with Russia where we were possibly, I mean, just very, very close to nuclear war. Um, I mean, either Russia would bomb us and then we would bomb them and just a huge retaliation, which as you could see would be pretty bad for our planet. Um, and that leads us to um, sadly the most famous day, um, infamous actually day in Kennedy's presidency, November 22nd, 1963. Um, Kennedy and his wife, they were in Dallas campaign. Um, Dallas, Texas for a campaign appearance. Um, they were riding in a motorcade uh, along with his wife Jackie, as I said, um, Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife Nellie Connolly. Um, riding through Dallas, sort of a parade type thing. I have a video though, um, you can get an actual image of what happened. Um, rode through Dealey Plaza on Main Street. Uh, they turned on Elm Street approximately at 1230 um, and while they were passing the Texas School Book Depository around that time, um, two to three shots were fired. I say two to three shots because it's debated as to whether the first shot was either a firecracker or backfire from a car engine. Um, still kind of speculated, but either way, that first shot didn't um, hit anybody. There was no victim of the first shot. Second shot hit Kennedy um, in the back, towards kind of to, kind of close to his neck as well, and that went through him and hit Governor Connolly, who was sitting directly in front of him in the passenger seat. Third shot, which um, as, you can, as you'll see in the video, um, if you want to watch it, it's pretty graphic, hits him in the head and uh, seconds later he uh, ultimately passed away. Uh, the motorcade then rushed to Parkland Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead um, within minutes. So um, I have the, uh, the most famous footage of that event was um, a film done by Abraham Zapruder, who was a spectator, just a regular citizen, wanting to see the president drive through his town. Um, and he used this camera right here, which for the time was pretty close to being one of these state-of-the-art sort of uh, home video cameras, 8mm, Bell & Howell, Zoomatic, Director Series. So um, let's go ahead and cue that one up. And I'll, um, if you don't want to watch the uh, graphic parts, I'll go ahead and give you forewarning 
um, when they're about to come up. The uh, background music on here is just pretty depressing, so I'll just, I'm just going to have it muted. So uh, let's see. It's, it starts off with a, um, a slow-mo, sort of enhanced um, playing of the uh, film. So uh, here we see cops who were in charge of the motorcade, motorcade um, coming down the street. And uh, the video actually, um, the, the film skips, and then all of a sudden, in a second, we'll see um, Kennedy in his car and his limousine appear on the screen. As you can see, people line the streets. Uh, I just wanted to see JFK, just be in the presence of him. We see here, he's waving. Um, we have the spectators. Um, you can see the pink. The pink, um, that would be his wife, Jackie. Um, in front of him, it's kind of hard to see. Right here, we have Governor Connolly. And next to him is um, his wife, <coughs> Nellie. And there's also a driver, obviously. Um, I believe at this point, this would be the second shot. We missed the first shot. He got shot in the back. He's kind of covering his neck. Um, Jackie's starting to tend to him. Connolly is beginning to show signs of injury here. The graphic, graphic footage is coming up if you don't want to watch it. But um, third shot will come up in just a second. Um, yeah, right there, it's pretty, as you can tell, Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna live to uh, after that shot. Right there. So that's pretty, pretty good. I mean, this is the best footage that we have of the assassination. And then also, this is Jackie um, in desperation at the moment. She was climbing on the back of the limousine to uh, retrieve what they say was Kennedy's brains that had fallen on the back of the limo. Um, when they rushed Kennedy to the hospital, this is just the. Uh, full speed, just a regular speed uh, replay. When they rushed Kennedy to the hospital, Jackie, um, they said that she was, her pink, her pink dress, as you can see here, was just covered in um, the president's blood, which was just a shocking and very tragic moment. Uh, kind of a miracle she didn't get shot. Yeah, also, yeah. I mean, Chris. Was this colorized? Um, no, this, I mean, at the time it was not, but it's, I mean, with technology, it's been enhanced mm -hmm. and colorized. And okay, because so. I thought, I was pretty sure I've seen this in black and white. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, with, thankfully, with technology, that's what it's done for a lot of uh, historical videos. You can, I think I even saw that you can get, like, I don't know if it's, like, some, I don't know if it goes as far back as World War II, but they have, they were able to take black and white videos and turn them into color, which could be very helpful. Oh, yeah, they found for the first world war. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, here we have uh, some printings, newspapers of uh, day after. All of these are November twenty third. And um, anybody like to read some of the words just up there that you see that strike you? Obviously. Um, you just shout them out. Cradles. <clears throat> yeah. Slain. What's that? Slain. Slain. Yeah, slain. Just another, just very descriptive adjective used there to describe what happened to the president. Um, see anything else? Shocked. Shocked. Yeah, shocked, which is what most of the nation was after. I mean, just seeing. As I, as I talked about before, JFK created this Hollywood image and whatnot. To see uh, your leader, your nation's leader, go down like that was pretty shocking for a great, great majority of the nation. Also, I have uh, here, just to show a little, maybe just a little international um, views. This is a Russian newspaper. I mean, I, I can't read Russian, but I imagine it has something along the lines of JFK being assassinated. We've got a picture of him here. So just, I mean, this wasn't just felt at home, it was felt throughout the world as well. And then I also have um, a video here of Walter Cronkite, who was a uh, CBS news anchor, pretty famous. Uh, most people in that time watched their news from Walter Cronkite for decades. And uh, this is just, this is just him reading for the first time uh, JFK's assassination. As the world turns, for viewers.
viewers of the CBS soap opera, as the world turns, first word came at about 1.40 p.m. Eastern time. It happened too quickly for cameras to be in place. And I gave it a great deal of thought, Grandpa. Here is a bulletin from CBS News. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. Then it was back to the soap opera, but not for long. Soon after, Walter Cronkite was back, reporting from the CBS newsroom, complete with rotary telephones and wire machines. This picture has just been transmitted by wire. It is a picture taken just a moment or two before the incident. If you can zoom in with that camera, we can get a closer look at this picture. And almost exactly one hour after this initial bulletin, this now famous announcement. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. Vice President Lyndon Johnson <clears throat> has left the hospital in uh, Dallas, but we do not know uh, to where he has proceeded. Uh, presumably, he will be taking the oath of office shortly and become uh, the 36th President of the United States. All right, so that's just a, uh, Walter Cronkite. You can see the shock in his face as he takes his glasses off. Kind of, you see a little mutter of his lips. He's pretty shocked as well, feeling quite a bit of emotion there. He also uh, says pretty important. Um, LBJ, um, Lyndon Baines Johnson was uh, elected as the 36th president, sworn in. He was actually sworn in on Air Force One while in the air. So, um, pretty. Interesting fact here. Um, aftermath. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald is seen as the alleged uh, murderer of the President of the United States. Um, he was found uh, in a Dallas movie theater after, I, I believe, 30 minutes after the assassination, a policeman named J.D. Tippett. Uh, stopped him to question him and uh, ask if he knew anything about the assassination that had just went on um, minutes earlier. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald shot J.D. Tippett, um, shot him dead right there, and then fled to um, Dallas Theater, theater just a couple blocks away, which is where he was arrested um, for the alleged killing of JFK. He was a uh, former marksman in the Marines, so that could um, possibly say that that's why he had such the ability to shoot Kennedy from uh, the Texas School Book Depository, which is where they believe he shot them from, fired those three shots from the sixth floor. Um, Jack Ruby, which is this picture right up here, this would be Jack Ruby right here with the hat on, Lee Harvey Oswald, and then the policeman. Lee Harvey Oswald was being transferred um, between jails, and Jack Ruby famously came up to him, shot him, Ran the torso here, killed Lee Harvey Oswald. Jack Ruby was then arrested for the murder of Lee Harvey Oswald. So it's kind of up in the air as to why did Lee Harvey Oswald do it, if he did do it, um, because of Jack Ruby murdering him. Uh, Jack Ruby died in jail with quite a few secrets. He never spoke of possibly why he killed Lee Harvey Oswald. It's just a nightclub owner shooting Lee Harvey Oswald in the torso. Maybe it was out of anger of killing his nation's president. Maybe there were some other things involved. And that's what we're going to get into now. Um, I mean, is, this, is this possibly the real case? Is, is this really what happened? Was Lee Harvey Oswald by himself? Did he commit the uh, assassination strictly by himself alone? Um, the Warren Commission, they published a report, which is um, the report of the events and their findings uh, from the U.S. Govern government as to um, what they believe actually happened in their, their findings. But um, a survey taken in 2003 um, said that seven out of every 10 Americans believe that there was a plot to the killings, being that um, this couldn't have been the act of just one person, just Lee Harvey Oswald by himself. Maybe he, uh, maybe he didn't even do it in the first place. I don't know, maybe he did commit the murder, but he had some other people 
at play with him. Uh, the Warren Commission was accepted um, by most Americans for a while, but then there began some speculation as the Warren Commission came out and people began to investigate further. So it's just been one of those, um, just a, a, I believe, it, I believe one of our um, nation's biggest events that has just been questioned for, for decades. It happened in 1963, it's 2014, 51 years. And everything, I mean, there's more information that keeps coming out day after day and whatnot, but still, still a pretty questioned case. Um, there's some possible uh, theories. Uh, some people believe that the Warren Commission was correct. Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Um, he was the only guy involved. Um, other people believe, possible other theories, that there was a second gunman. Uh, this picture right here is seconds after um, Kennedy was shot. Uh, this is in Dealey Plaza. This is the famous grassy knoll. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that before, but some people believe that there was a second gunman um, in this area, um, possibly, that could have done the shooting um, also. Uh, some people believe, believe that Russia was involved. This is uh, Khrushchev. I uh, said his name earlier about the Cold War conflicts. Nikita Khrushchev was the leader of the Soviet Union um, when the Cold War was going on. Possibly, maybe, because of the Cold War tensions and whatnot, wanted to uh, go after Kennedy and the United States in that way. Um, some people believe that it was possibly Cuba and Fidel Castro. Um, the CIA had numerous attempts of trying to assassinate Fidel Castro. Um, I believe they tried to explode um, one of his milkshakes. So Castro was big on, um, he would go to this one restaurant and get milkshakes uh, when it was really, really hot, get a strawberry milkshake. They tried to put some sort of explosive in there. Um, he kind of didn't, I, I, they don't know if he got tipped off about it, but one day he would order his milkshake but then decided not to get it. And that was the day that it was in there and whatnot. Um, I could also have been Cuba's retaliating from the Bay of Pigs. Uh, Bay of Pigs was a huge disaster, just another attack at Cuba's revolutionary government. Maybe Castro had some motive there. Um, the Mafia, some people believe the Mafia was involved. Um, this is, uh, not sure of the pronunciation, I believe his name is Sam, uh, Sam Giancana. He's a former Chicago mob, mob boss, mob leader. Um, he had some ties with JFK's father, Joseph, um, and there were some sticky events going on there. Um, also, uh, Kennedy, along with his brother, Robert Kennedy, they were um, going further and further into investigating and prosecuting organized crime at the time. So maybe they were trying to take out him to say, hey, stop, stop investigating us and whatnot. So. There's some other conspiracy theories out there. Um, do you guys happen to know of any or just want to share some, even if it could be true, could be not? Conspiracy theories about the event, by chance? Chris? I've heard one where he's taken out by basically like the military industrial complex because he was trying to work things out with Khrushchev, you know, after the, the whole, um, you know, Cuban Missile Crisis, yeah. and they were trying to, you know, he, he had talked about, you know, military industrial, kind of like what Eisenhower had said before, military industrial complex about control, and he started scaling things down, and then a few days later, man, he's gone. So yeah, there's just another possible thing there. Um, I think I've also heard some people believe that LBJ was involved, um, wanted to take the presidency, some sort of motive there. Uh, any others? I think what piques my curiosity is uh, Jack Ruby shooting him. Right. And, like to shut him up. Yeah. That's, perhaps. Yeah. But that's I find that interesting. Yeah, sure. I do too. I, it's just it, it's another wonder why did he shoot the army asshole? Like you said, to shut him up. Some other reason? I don't know. I think he had mentioned one time that he didn't want to see Jackie go through the trial or something. Or he said that he didn't want to see the President's wife. I think deal with this. Mm -hmm. over and over again watching him being prosecuted. Mm -hmm. um, another theory that I've heard, though, is that uh, Kennedy issued silver certificates, an executive order, uh, a few years before that, and then uh, the Federal Reserve wasn't happy about that. They had their own notes they issued, and so this happened, and then LBJ takes that executive order away prior to becoming president. So, you know, yeah, some sort of 
of weird events going on there. There's money, so, yeah. yeah. Higher, higher powers of being, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's various theories out there. So that, that leads us into our um, activity for today. It's going to take about 10, 15 minutes to complete. Um, I want you to find a partner, and that's why I asked you to bring your laptops in today. Or if you don't have a laptop, we have a couple more up here. I brought mine in that you can use as well. I'm just going to do some basic research. Uh, you can either pick one of the conspiracy theories that um, we discussed in class, or one that you have on your own that you haven't shared, or one that you just shared if you did share one with the class. I'm just trying to find some uh, solid, credible sources to make your claim. That could be um, a historian um, who is an expert on the subject. Maybe he has some really solid claims and some evidence there. Um, like I said, support the theory with the evidence. What it, I mean, do you guys have any other ways that you know that um, situating a credible source from a non-credible source? Any other just I mean ideas about that? I think Wikipedia is a great source. I don't think it should be your last source. Right. But I yeah. think it's a great source. I agree. I mean, I agree, especially for in the historical area. I mean, when you have, I always have these. This question just like burning my brain, and I do a quick Google search. Wikipedia has it right there. I'm not going to use it to write a term paper on and use it to base my entire thesis and whatnot, but it is a good, quick fact area. So, I mean, you can also get sources that are cited within Wikipedia from there as well, so which is also huge. Um, any other things that makes a good source good or credible? Mm -hmm. <coughs> when the author is listed. Right, yeah. You, if, you, if you have the author listed there, I mean, it gives you, you can investigate what further research he has done. Does it make him a credible expert on the, on the area and whatnot? So yeah, um, if you guys want to take just 10, 15 minutes um, to do some research, and then you're going to make a very, it's just going to be informal from your chairs. Stake your claim. Um, let me know which, and you have to have evidence to say, like, this historian believes this because of that. Um, and then at the end, uh, we're going to do a class vote. You can't vote for yourself. And I actually do have a prize. Uh, so uh, I'll give the prize to the winning, the winning pair there. So if you guys just want to take 10, 15, do some research with a partner, and then um, we'll regroup and present our stuff. Does anybody need a laptop? It's interesting to me because it did, like, I never heard of it. It's interesting to think back to that. June of 16, probably. Yeah, this is the last This is the only one I'm so Because I'm going to the power of US dollars. Yeah.
part of the show. I don't know if it's I mean, I suppose that the bomb is kind of, but then again, this thing is almost a little more rushy. It's five inches. You're going to pull it all around and pull it all around. You're going to pull it all around and pull it all around. Right. But, okay, like, I told you this, but, like, I don't know if they carried it, maybe the previous election. I don't know what that deal was back then, but sure. I guess you go there and get more money than other people, you know, have a dinner and be like, which road are you guys taking? 5,000 a plate. You better come because they like that. I don't fully understand that. She doesn't know. But so you think that just came out with two lanes on? Is that what you're saying? I think so. the top is not if that if most there was a double two shooters. That's like what oh, I think it is. Um, but there were two shooters. But um, I think that this people uh, need to invent something in their mind when big events are caused by little people so they even out. And that, um, Actually, that makes sense now. Yeah. You know what you're saying. That, um, that, um, you know, if JFK was killed by the FBI, mm -hmm. um, that's even, you know, FBI, JFK, about the same. But Lee Harvey Oswald, he's so unimportant. Mm -hmm. And he did this huge uh, thing, these horrible things, and that so you when you people prefer, believe yeah. the FBI did it, or when the FBI did it, or believe Russia did it, or believe the FBI did it, or 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 the FBI have you ever seen the the the, the, the comment that dot, says the brain gets three. information that conflicts yeah, the core belief system, true. and your brain's like, get rid of it. I mean, it's kind that of works. yeah. It just it just Why? doesn't just almost make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It blows their world. If it was in the right. EU, so it would be in order to cope with it blowing, yeah. 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 they're yeah. trying yeah. to yeah. feel a little bit more comfortable. They can't. They can't. I know it's really a gap. We're dealing with 20% of Americans believe that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Very stupid advice for society. Rather than just scandals and stuff. Yeah, we're not interested in it. Maybe the dad's a little bit more interested in it. Knowing too much or showing too much interest in alien activity is two crucial pieces of evidence backing up. The first is a letter of Fred JK to CIA, which demands to see the secret way of the Second is a note to the CIA official that says we can now write. Right. Steve Jobs is one person and look what he created. Steve Jobs is one person and look what he created. But because it was so negative. It's given by yeah. We can't believe that's really happening. Little green men. You really thought of that one. That's pretty cool. So you should vote me winner and give us both. Candy, because I assume that's what your prize it's is. It's not candy, I'll tell you that. What is it? Drugs? No, it's not drugs. Not appropriate. <laughs> well, well, I'm a student, not the teacher. I'll let you know if you win. Okay. So this is, this is kind of the reason. Well, if you don't, don't win, come back. Like, that he wasn't acting alone, you know, that's kind of, that's why. Right. 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 Or that's why the next year, this year, this is part of our argument. Which changes things. Shut up. She said, I did it with my and I saw that it was going on. I could take care of it myself. I said, I'm going to say that. I don't think so. I woke up and felt like the next thing was five minutes. Yeah. I think she was just shocked. I heard this a lot that we have a kind of bias. Yeah, I'll be serious now. Oh, yeah, that's a nice thing. It's photographed in the South. Are we going to take about three or four more minutes? Keep talking, but then we're going to do the presentation. So what you got? I don't think it's a good idea. Which can't not. Other than that, it just sounds way out there. So which is great. A lot of the fact that it's getting shorter before. Yeah, basically, you're not left over your top two. Again.
I think Oswald I mean, so, I mean, it's just weird how like you see all the evidence of Oswald's photos like there's this one saying that the JFK the movie it's interesting to <laughs> take his well, photo and oh, oh, famous oh, one up oh, that that was the same same old rifle and that for uh, and, uh, and, uh say like like just because of the way the timing all worked out <coughs> it shows him um, no we saw him do it like you know the photo down like you had to go up and down like four or something like 15 seconds so like you like he wasn't there if you're gonna if you were gonna say this one is the opportunity no absolutely so it's not crooked, so either they superimpose his face on it or vice versa, which is a big thing, but maybe the shadows don't matter. This is, um, well, is true? True? I had someone who brought up a really good point about Justin Bieber. Yeah? That he's just a frat guy. That's really what he is. Yes. And that uh, he shouldn't be hating like any other frat guy. Like, that's how yeah. his mindset. That's why that's exactly. Like, and then when he said he was doing that, he was just being nice to say he just did it. No, but you're yeah. not totally disagreeing, yeah. but <laughs> no, but you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a phase of his life. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's in the Russian newspaper. Yeah. Right? Like everybody yeah. has that phase of their life. And then again, right, the next day, the paper came out. Yeah. Man. It's mm -hmm. like it's perfect mm -hmm. thing. Like the government's be like, he's a comedy. He's, he's by bad. himself. He's <laughs> very gay. He's also a marksman. This is a Nazi is trying to be you know, groovy. When who knows? He could have been like playing in there, like you know. Say this or that. Yeah. Or that. Yeah. He's walking out of the taxi, you know, they're poking past the like, what's going on? Not <laughs> now. <laughs> you got photos of you and this. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Did you go up to the before I get this stuff? You don't mind adding up there real quick. Take this ride. Right. Yeah. 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 It seems like the grassy knoll yeah. thing, too, is. Uh, that oil is just looked at too much. That just gives the track. Exactly, that's what's weird about it. Here's a great one. My buddy mm -hmm. fired from the grass. No, all I got was his last one. I was thinking yesterday about I didn't know they had that color. Maybe, uh, medical evidence kind of covers the fact that it was all from one thing. Yeah, like really, really popular, like 2000. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. for sure. For sure. He's yeah. yeah. right here. Well, the answer is in the main office now. That was not a question. Who knows? I don't know. 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 There's a million videos on YouTube about how I see that swirl around in my water seeds. That's the thing. I hope it doesn't happen. It happens. Except the shadow that I'll work out. I want to go around. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap things up. And then we'll see what you guys got. Does anybody want to go first? With uh, what they believe? Yes. All right. What do you guys think? Um, our theory is that there there is no real conspiracy, um, but the reason for it is um, that we we more have a theory of why people come up with conspiracy theories in the first place. Um, that you know, if someone like JFK is this big important person and it really unsettles people that someone as small and unimportant as Lee Harvey Oswald could kill him mm -hmm. because it disrupts the order of the world as they understand it. Um, like their mind's blown that someone so small could do something that could, have, could affect the world in such a negative way so largely. 
Um, so in order to rectify that um, belief, they need to um, balance it. They need to um, come up with an explanation. You know, FBI, JFK, they're about the same size. They're about the same importance. So if the FBI killed JFK, well, that makes sense. Um, but when Lee Harvey Oswald does it, um, you know, it's... It doesn't add up. Right. Yeah, so they need, and even if there is a second shooter, which there might have been, mm -hmm. it's irrelevant because it's the same point, really. Okay. Um, that, yeah, that, that's pretty much why people don't believe, or that's why people don't believe Lee Harvey Oswald was the only one to do it. We kind of um, also like explained it, like looking at um, the example I gave was like Steve Jobs. He's one person who made a really huge impact on the world with the Apple products. Right. But Lee Harvey Oswald is just one person who had a really big impact on our country's future, just as Apple has. And we can believe something so positive happened, but to think one person can break down our country rather than build it up is a scarier thought, which is why we want to believe that there's more to it, that there's a bigger power at play. Great. Hope and change. Great. It's definitely a new, I've never read anything about that, but I mean, definitely something to think about, so. All right. Anybody else? Well, obviously, who wants to go next? I want to go last. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. I found a kind of crazy one that's kind of cool. Like, uh, they think it has to do with aliens because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've heard that too, but it was just. He has a, there's, but there's two actual documents. There's a document of JFK asking the CIA for all the intelligence on extraterrestrial life. And then there's a document from the CIA that says if we can't let the president see that, then he's killed right after that. So. Right. That's, I mean, especially since you said, I mean, you did do one important part of the assignment, which was claim some sort of evidence there. I mean, which is huge when you make an argument in history. But yeah, I mean, I've never, I, I didn't know about those CIA documents. I just thought it was just off of some crazy person speculation. Yeah. <laughs> hey, aliens did it. But now that you actually have solid backup, I mean, it might actually be a plausible explanation. Clinton asked for aliens and didn't get killed, so I think he's wrong. <laughs> and he made an executive order, which made them let him in. You never know. What do you guys have? Well, the site we found, you know, kind of covers a lot of the popular theories. And, you know, the one that I brought up earlier about the military industrial complex is on there. But the one thing that this site stresses, and it seems to be fairly legitimate, it brings a lot of books and other sources in. Um, is that Oswald couldn't have been the shooter, is, is basically what our thing is stressing. Just because the amount of time, the timing doesn't work out. Like he couldn't have shot, his, the rifle that he was using couldn't have been fired as quickly as it was in the way that it was. The angle of the shooting doesn't seem to match up very well. Um, Oswald was like seen on the first floor at about the same time the shooting was going on from the sixth floor and there's a number of other discrepancies um, and they're not really covered and you know the Warren Commission didn't really worry about those facts and also it's been the, the kind of the way that the shooting was supposed to happen according to the Warren Commission doesn't match up with the medical evidence that had come out from the autopsy um, but the, the problem is, is I, I, you know, I couldn't say how valid Necessarily, the things that you know, I haven't had time to like vet all the sources. It's right, amazing. you only have 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, right. still. But this is, you know, this is stuff that I've heard before, <coughs> and I don't know, it seems fairly legitimate to me. I think that's the I think commenting on that, that I've heard a lot of the same type of thing, and I think people saying that, like, the type of rifle he used, you couldn't have, like, possibly, he was a military marksman. He, at that time, he would have been trained over and over and over and over on a bolt action rifle. And I think he could have absolutely, it's like, there was some time in between the shots. It's not like he got hit at the same time, two different. Right. And a lot of people cite, like, the autopsy, saying, like, oh, it should have, like, 
Okay, if you shot from up there, it would have came out like right over here, maybe. But when a bullet goes into a person, it doesn't just go through. It hits stuff, and it tumbles, and it turns, and it comes out one way that you didn't expect. And Ricochet, bounces. And yeah. Everyone likes to say, like, oh, it's, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not like perfectly aligned, but it doesn't have to be perfectly Rare. Yeah, that's, um, I realize we didn't have time about that today, but there's a lot of people that believe that the math doesn't all add up and whatnot. But like you said, could very well just be that it got inside inside the president, and then it was, that would be the second shot when it got inside the president. And then some people believe that it doesn't line up with the way it hit the governor. But like you said, it could have just came out and like in it another hit, angle. It hit him here and like tumbled out going another way. Right, right. That's what happens. Right. Was um, that your guys' belief? Did you have no? What we looked into, we were sniffing around in Jack Ruby and his past. Okay. One interesting thing we found that I was uh, is that he was in the military, which uh, I've never heard before. I've never heard anyone mention that. And I found a ser like military service document, so that was credible. And on archives.gov, it it also. Says it, and I just think it's very interesting that like two military guys, because according to one less credible source, he was in counterintelligence in the military, which is fishy, and his dad was born in uh, Russia, which is also fishy, and so I think he was like a CIA anchor baby spy, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe he got like hired by some people, maybe Linda B. Johnson, to. Like I, said, I was telling him, if I was going to kill the president and I hired someone to do it, because I'm a rich guy, obviously I wouldn't shoot the president, hire someone to do it. I would also hire someone to shoot the guy that, that shot, shot the president. Right. <laughs> Personally. That might be. You should watch out for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Through the mafia, though. So, yeah, all very, I mean, very, very possible, very good speculation. Um, what I want to do now is try and see if you guys want to try and determine um, what you think uh, was the best claim with uh, best supporting evidence. You can't vote for yourself, or else you probably have four winners. Um, so uh, who thinks that uh, guys up front made possibly the best claim? No. Can we vote for ourselves? You can't vote yeah. for yourselves. You can only vote one oh, time okay. and you have to vote. So, guys up front, anybody agree with them? I'll give them a vote. Thank you. Got one, <laughs> vote. one vote for the guys up front. You only get to vote once. Uh, I understand. Oh. All right, that's it. Okay. I'm a math man. All right. <laughs> so, so our, our proposal was Oswald was not the shooter. It was some right. other sort of conspiracy, and he was framed for it as a fall. There we go. Anybody want to change the vote now with that being no, fully out? Sticking with it. All right. Okay, all right. So we got one vote for the guys up front. How about the guys in the middle here? I'd vote for it. You got two? Two we, votes? Is this for the alien one? Yes, yeah. sweet. You got yeah. it. Two votes? Yeah, they, they <laughs> use the solid space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the middle one's likely the one in the front, but I don't know. Okay, so we got two. So far we got two in the middle, one in front. How about the guys in the back? <laughs> Which one was it? Talk about Jack something shady going down with Jack Ruby yeah, trying to silence good. Oswald for some some other sort of we got something. Three, uh, some, uh, somebody's fingers on the strings. Three, okay. Yeah, I like that one. Huh. So Tony, you voted? I'm a whole lot. Thing. Voted one. Mm -hmm. So we got three there. That's good. Um, how about the ladies in the back? Anybody want to vote for them? <laughs> yeah, I, I like their. Your vote is We got three. <laughs> so we have three as well. Okay, so we have a tie. So I guess what we'll do is try and settle the tie one more time. So. I'm a, wait, I think we should determine it by the quality of our sources, because that was part of the. Well, if, 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 I, if you did want to determine the quality, you could just vote on your. I mean, use your vote to determine, hey, they have better quality. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, we should, sorry. All right, we can decide this. I know who we're at. Okay, so let's just go ahead and so we have the we're going between the two ladies in the back and the two gentlemen in the back. You guys can't vote 
So we have five here. So somebody's going to end up winning. <laughs> so we'll go with the two ladies in the back. So they think, five of us. they think nothing happens. Restate, right? restate, restate, restate the argument. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you think yeah. that um, one person is capable of something this significant, it's hard to justify it because we like to, in our minds, say that someone just as powerful could take down someone just as powerful, but in reality, some small and insignificant person is capable of having such large ramifications for our country. So your claim is that Lee Harvey Oswald shot him, mm -hmm. end of story. There could have been a second shooter, but like, everyone like wants to create these, these conspiracy theories to... Um, validate in their minds that it wouldn't take just one person to take down the whole country. Because that's ultimately what it came down to. Yeah, the, most, the simplest way to explain it is probably the most logical way to explain it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is that he just had the moment to make somebody else, but there's a big conspiracy. Except for when you're talking about <laughs> really big and complicated things like the assassinations of presidents. See, but you're making a big deal. It honestly was just <laughs> the science. a shot to a person. All right, so we had... The scientific um, theory is that the simplest So we'll kind of get back, get back on track here. So. Who's voting for the ladies in the back out of the five? Okay. Oh! So we've got oh. three. So if you guys, obviously you're college students, you know your math. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so why did okay. Jack Ruby shoot Oswald then? I don't know you told uh -oh. me. Uh-oh. You are okay. lost. You can't, you can't, you can't, I'm not. Alright, so, so ask for the prize. I said I'd give you a prize. Um, although JFK isn't with us anymore, he's still with us in some sorts of the way. And one of the most notable is, I got some JFK half dollars that you can actually use as money. 